is enough said. What's up, Heat Nation? Ernest here, back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Excited, you guys, because we got some great subjects to talk about today. Before we get started, you know I'm going to ask. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We're knocking on the door to 4,000 subscribers. We are literally almost right there, you guys. Thank you all so much for the support. Now, let's get ready to rock and roll on another Miami Heat Talk adventure. Hope y'all love the shirt today. Got me this fresh Ace Ventura shirt. I love me the movie. Alrighty then, let's get some let's get to some great Miami Heat juicy topics. Now, let's start with an obvious one. I want to get this one right out of the way. Um, it was reported today that Caleb Martin does fully um, intend on declining his $7.1 million player option. He will become a free agent this offseason. Duh. Like, we all knew that was going to happen. We know Caleb can get anywhere from like 11 to $13 million, which is the full uh, mid-level exception this offseason. He probably can get even more than that. The last two seasons, Caleb Martin has averaged about 10 points a game, five rebounds. Um, he's had incredible playoff performances, especially in the 2023 playoffs, you know, the Eastern Conference Finals. We all remember that. Uh, Caleb Martin's a guy that you can start. You can have him as your sixth man. You can have him as a leading role player coming off your bench. He's a Swiss Army knife. Um, I'm not saying that the Miami Heat don't want to bring him back. I'm saying that he's leaving because all the pieces are aligning right for him to leave. You know, the Miami Heat right now, they're a first apron team. The Heat could use their bird rights to go over the salary cap and bring back Caleb Martin. What's bird rights? Well, bird rights is when you're over your salary cap and you want to re-sign your own player, you can go over the salary cap and bring him back. But by doing that, you're damaging yourself because as we know, the Miami Heat are a first apron team. If you re-sign Caleb Martin at the number that he's looking for, it will make you a second apron team. And when you are a second apron team, we've discussed this many times in this channel, but I'll say it again. You can't use your mid-level exception. You can't use any exceptions. You can't aggregate players in a trade, which means combining players' contracts. You cannot sign buyout players in the middle of the season to help you with a playoff push. It just limits you. All you can do is sign minimum contracts, and that's not really a lot. So the Miami Heat are not going to risk getting into uh, the second apron luxury tax line for Caleb Martin. You know, if he showed out in the 2024 playoffs when Jimmy was injured, took over and showed that he could do it, maybe the Heat probably would have done it. But I think the playoffs with Jimmy Butler out showed the Miami Heat a lot what they needed to see about this, re about this team. So I think you're going to see Caleb Martin leave. It sucks, but it is what it is. It's business. Now, it is possible that the Miami Heat can bring back Haywood Highsmith. Losing Caleb Martin is not going to damage your team. You have Jaime Jaquez Jr. who fits that role, role perfectly. Haywood Highsmith can come back. You can also bring back DeLon Wright. Josh Richardson is most likely going to opt in and come back midseason. You're going to have a lot of guys that are going to be able to play that Caleb Martin role. But one guy whose role is very important on this team. And the next topic that I want to get to is Bam Adebayo, our guy, El Capitan. Bam Adebayo is up for a contract extension this offseason. Now, it was uh, reported today that the Miami Heat do intend on offering Bam Adebayo a maximum contract extension. It said nothing about Jimmy Butler, but it said this about Bam Adebayo. But there is a reason why. The Miami Heat want to give Bam Adebayo this contract extension, you guys. Bam Adebayo made the All-NBA defensive first team. But one thing he didn't make was the All-NBA team. There's, th there's uh, three different All-NBA teams. Bam did not make any of them. If Bam would have made an All-NBA team selection this year, he would have been able to qualify for a four-year, $215 million contract extension. But because he didn't, he qualifies for a three-year, $165 million extension. Now, the question is, will Bam Adebayo sign the extension that Miami offers him this offseason? Or will he risk it, decline the option, bet on himself, try to make an all-NBA team and get a bigger max money? That's going to be a decision on Bam Adebayo. If you ask me, you give him the extension. There's no question. Look, you guys, Bam Adebayo is not your number one option. I get it. But what Boston Celtics gave Jalen Brown that super max money. He's not their best player. 
He did win the NBA Finals MVP, so maybe that's a question. But a lot of people question that contract. You give your star players that money because you keep them. You keep them happy. And then also for a guy like Bam Adebayo, players love him in the NBA. Players love playing with him. Bam Adebayo is going to be your star recruiter. He's going to be able to get you that guy that wants to come to the team. Look at the whole situation with Damian Lillard last year. None of that happens if it's not for Bam Adebayo. Dwayne Wade was the guy that always brought players to Miami. Shaquille O'Neal came because of Dwayne Wade. LeBron James, Chris Bosh came because of Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade promoted Miami to Jimmy Butler. Had Jimmy Butler want to come to the Miami Heat? Dwayne Wade was always tied with that. But Damian Lillard was the first player that wanted to come to the Miami Heat, not because of Dwayne Wade, because of Bam Adebayo. You're going to see other players fall in that line as well. Donovan Mitchell, we don't know what's going to happen with his extension in Cleveland. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? He has ties with Bam as well. We all know that Kevin Durant has a great relationship with Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo is going to the Team USA in the Olympics this summer to play with superstars over there. We know what Bam Adebayo brings to the table. So yes, you do give Bam Adebayo that extension. And the final topic I want to talk about today is our guy. Our Batman, Jimmy Hemi Butler. Now, there's a, been a lot of reports that's been going on, but one report I want to talk about specifically was a report that went out this weekend by Howard Beck. For those of you that don't know who Howard Beck is, Howard Beck is an NBA reporter, but why is what Howard Beck say mean anything? Because he has a following. Over 100,000 followers on Twitter, works directly with the NBA and he said something that made Miami Heat's fans I guess nervous it was reported by the ringer Jimmy Butler will be traded rival executives have been buzzing about it for months for all the obvious reasons Butler's about to turn 35 which is a lot of hard miles and a lot of injuries with one year left on his Miami Heat contract and is reportedly seeking a two-year 113 million dollar extension if the Heat grant it, they'll have little to no flexibility to add another star, and they absolutely need one, end quote. So this was reported a few days ago. It was also asked to Udonis Haslam Friday in the ESPN shows that Jimmy Butler will be back to the Miami Heat. Haslam didn't want to answer on that topic. So there's a lot of inclinations that are going on that Jimmy Butler may get traded. This was something that just sparked up rumors but now there's a lot of talks happening. It was also reported today that the Houston Rockets are looking to potentially trade for either Jimmy Butler or Kevin Durant. This was actually something I mentioned a week ago. Not sure if you guys remember, I posted a video about Jimmy Butler potentially being traded. There were a few teams that were coming up. Uh, it was the video that I mentioned that the Heat were looking to trade up to a top five uh, pick. And the only team that I mentioned that actually made sense was the Houston Rockets. They have the third pick. They have some young, nice pieces. They have salary cap flexibility. They are also in Texas, which has no state income taxes. Jimmy Butler's from Texas. On paper, the Miami Heat potentially trading for Jimmy Butler to the Houston Rockets to get the third pick to also get some uh, young pieces, maybe add a Dylan Brooks into that, I don't know. But let me tell y'all right now, and the reason why I'm not throwing names and I'm making a suggestion, that trade is not gonna happen. The Miami Heat are not gonna trade Jimmy Butler. I do not care what happened this off season. I understand that Jimmy injured his MCL and I get it, but I'm telling y'all right now, the Heat trade, make that trade for the Houston Rockets, that's throwing in the white flag. The Miami Heat is not that team. We have our 15th pick. We have flexibility. We have pieces to make a trade. The Miami Heat is not a team, have never been a team, that throws in the white flag, that throws in the towel. I'm going to say it here, you guys, and I'm going to assure all of the Miami Heat fans that the only way that Jimmy Butler gets traded by the Miami Heat is if he specifically requests one. And if Jimmy Butler requests a trade for the Miami Heat, that's because this contract extension situation turns ugly. Now you see Jimmy Butler playing poker, giving out money to fans and having a good time. He's living good. He's living good. Must be nice making all that money, you know, and 
having all this time off. It's great. It's a great opportunity. But one thing that Jimmy Butler's also getting and one thing that I'm seeing, look at that run from the 2023 playoffs into the 2024 season. A lot of mileage. One thing that we're going to have for next year, for next season, is a rested Jimmy Butler. Is a rested Miami Heat team. A Miami Heat team that did not play deep into June. A Heat team that's going to be ready and poised to make noise next season. I said it before, you guys, and I'll say it again. Eric Spolstra is an amazing coach. He's going to get these guys in the right mindset. Pat Riley is going to talk to these guys. Last season may actually have been a good thing for the Miami Heat because they just breezed through the regular season thinking, we'll get to the playoffs. 2023 will happen again. It didn't. Reality smacked them in the face. It's time to wake up, look in the mirror, and ask yourself one question. Do you want to put another year on that banner? If you do, we need a full commitment from all of our players this season that they're going to play when healthy and that they're going, to, they're going to give it their all. I think this Miami Heat team, and I've been saying it all along, you guys, this Miami Heat roster currently constructed, I think is good enough to win the championship. You just need a few things. Health, you need the right lineup, you need chemistry with Terry Rozier playing with these guys in training camp, and you need, and you need these guys to commit and listen to Spo. They do all that, I think the Miami Heat are a contender for an NBA championship. But of course you're not gonna think that way. Of course people aren't gonna put the Miami Heat in the comment. Of course they're not gonna bring our name up into that conversation because of what happened this past season. Everybody's gonna drown us. Everybody's gonna say that he can't do it. Everybody's gonna doubt us. And that's exactly how we love it here in Miami. So Heat fans, I wanna hear from y'all. What do you guys think? Do you actually think Jimmy Butler may be traded or do you think like me, it ain't gonna happen? It's just all speculation. Would you give a max extension to Bam out of bio? Do you think he's going to sign this off season? Or do you think he's going to bet on himself and go all in next year? What about Caleb Martin? You think he's gone or is there any chance we can bring him back? Let me know in the comments what you think, you guys. Don't forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I got a special thing I'm going to do for you guys this Wednesday in the draft. I want to do a live draft party. Watch the draft with you guys. Talk in the comments. Have a great time. We'll do it all the way up to the 15th pick for the Miami Heat. And then we'll go from there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you want to see that happen? Don't forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Until next time, your boy Ernest out. That's enough said. Alrighty then.